so for the Halloween free-to-play EZA, we got the Launch and Oolong here. Uh, we'll see how good they are now. Honestly, before their EZA, they weren't really in it. They were just a funny character to run with big number, start things off, and then slowly decay. Uh, we'll see if maybe after their decay, they're still all right. So let's run down through the details for the EZA. So it's all types 3 key and 70% stat boost with the raise attack defense for one turn and ceiling super attacks. Key plus one, 560% attack and defense with a minus 40% in attack and defense up to 200% and chance of dodging up by 15% up to 75% with each turn passed. Uh, so five turns afterwards, including turns that they are not in, um, they will cap out. So it's 360% attack and defense still which is still relatively high. Uh, when there's another Earthlings category, ally attacking the same turn, additional two um, key, and then launches two additional attacks, each with a medium chance of becoming a super attack. And starting from the fifth turn from the character's turn, launches an additional super attack. So I think that is... Uh, wow, that's a lot of attacks. So you got the two from normal super attack, hidden potential, then two here, so that's four. And then after five turns, you get five super attacks, which is... A lot of super attacks. We'll see how each super attack is. Uh, because from what I see, they don't get anything on super. Uh, so it's 360% attack and defense. But they do get 15% uh, attack up up to 75% with each attack performed. And their defense was 15% up to 75% with each attack evaded. In re recovery with uh, sweet treats as well. Uh, just from the base of it, they you probably want to get like maximum dodge. Just so you can build up their defense even earlier than having to wait... Um, you know, the following turns to get to the dodging up to 75%. And then you don't really need a hidden potential. It's good to have like at least like three or six. And then you, depending on how much attacks that they do have with their super, especially on the first turn and maybe in the, um, after the debuffs are gone, how much each super attack, maybe crits are worth it as well. They get five critical already. So we'll be running them under Earthlings here. We got LR Krillin as the leader, and then Yamsh is a 200% Earthling leader. So let's jump into it. Uh, we're just doing the Legendary Freezer event because I want to make sure that I have enough time for, to see the five turns. So being in the second slot means like turn seven is when the debuffs are gone. I never know, does the first turn they appear count as the turn? Or it's not? I think it's not. <laughs> but I'm I'm not that smart. I'm not a Darkon connoisseur, man. Alright, so, <laughs> so we actually have a decent linking partner with them. Uh, we have the Yamcha. So Yamcha has the Dragon Ball links, but they also have Flea. It's not really a great link, but it's an extra 10% chance of dodging and then chatting with them. Other than that, like, you might... Your best linking partner is the physical launch, which I don't have or I have no access to. Yes, I'm using a private server here, but, like, in realistic terms, I wouldn't be able to run launch on a free-to-play team. I'm going to keep it. Sometimes I run the pay-to-play leader, sometimes I don't. But uh, this time I was like, you know, Krillin, so close to 200%. Who cares? But, like, you get Berserker and Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is great. Berserker, eh. Maybe if you get turn one, you're already underneath 50% HP. Cool. Uh, start of turn defense is 358. Remember, they don't get defense until attacks are evaded. So your super attack, raise attack, and defense is a 30% increase, which is roughly around 300,000. Roughly. Which is roughly around 100,000 defense in every super attack performed. And after, right now, we can only do four. Right, four. Uh, so yeah, three, seven hundred. Let's say almost eight hundred thousand, depending on the situation, the linking situation. Eight hundred thousand defense on the first turn. It's nothing too amazing, honestly, because they don't have dodge. In, like they do have dodge in built, but it's not there yet. Five point three is kind of mediocre too. I was actually expecting a lot more, but you have to build up with them. So, fifteen percent attack with each attack performed. It's each super attack performed, so that's even worse. Because us doing two normal attacks there means that the attack really didn't increase that much. But if you get super attack, super attack, super attack, just like, I guess, the um, card of STR Gohan, like, you, you can see that accumulate so much extra attack. But this should be double digits regardless. Uh, this second form is pretty weak anyway. Yeah, I'm not impressed so far uh, for the first turn. Um, two super attacks, so it's 30% attack 
far. Got no dodges yet. Uh, at least by the next turn around, they at least have 30% damage reduction. Which is better than nothing. Uh, no, damage reduction. I wish it was damage reduction. A dodge. Why can't we have a build up a 75% damage reduction? <laughs> Instead of the dodge. Uh, I'm just going to keep putting uh, Videl in the first slot. Because she's a two-turn supporter. So what was our defense? It was like 350 from the start of the turn. With no dodging. Let's see how much it lowers after two turns. That's our 80% minus attack and defense. It's actually quite a lot. If they like had something like more than just the dodging up by defense 15%, like they had like 100% attack defense on super, it'd be a lot better. All right, well, here we go. Let's have a look. We have 365 and Krillin is a support. Then we had um, physical Krillin on the rotation, so he wasn't supporting. So yeah, like an extra 10,000. So we're going to see roughly the same amount of growth here. And uh, I think I get more... Su no, I think it's went three rainbow orbs or three tech orbs. All right. Uh, yep, there's one dodge. So our defense increased by 15%. And then 7 million. All right. Second turn. Not really. Again, like the Int Goten is doing better. And these guys are easy aid. Goten has not. Like these non... Ah, oh, man, the RNG is screwing us over. But we got second dodge. Third dodge. So that's a 45% defense increase. And then the next turn... We will see the... Um, the guaranteed additional super attack at the very least. Yeah, they're just a uh, funky character. I, I just don't see them being used whatsoever. I mean, they're in the most competitive categories for free-to-play. Earthbreak Fighters, DV Saga, Earthlings. Like, the only place I could see me using them is Joint Forces. And that's about it. I mean, for a Halloween unit, it's a cool idea. And I don't mind it at all. You know... You, you see these funky characters and character combinations are only on Halloween anyway. So 445,000 defense. Our defense is definitely increasing for sure. Um, and so raise attack and defense. You're like, you're, we're getting we're getting to eight, past the 800,000 mark here with like a triple super, quad super, and we may be getting to a million. Our dodge rate is really good now. Not perfect, but really, really good. And you can compound that effect. Not really compound, but you can make a little, little bit better with the uh, max dodge build. I honestly don't even think critical is like all that important. Because the attacks that just don't raise up like that. I'm sure Dark and World will be hitting like 15 million somehow, some way or another. But that's just, I don't see that being so realistic at <laughs> all. 8 million. There we go. We've got the triple super attack at the very least. And I've lost count how many times we've dodged. But I think maybe one more and then we are all good. 9 million. All right. There we go. We're starting to build up now. This is definitely max stack. I don't think we are at the end or be all. Um, with five turns. Yeah, maybe this is like as best it gets. So they almost hit 10 million. Maybe the, the five critical on the last attack may be kind of clutch, though. You don't have to put too much additional E anyways. Because, like... It... Yeah, they have so much additional proc that you're most likely at least getting an additional fifth additional attack. 190, that's all right. You just got to make sure that there is another Earthlings category ally attack in the same turn to be proccing those additionals. All right, so I took away the Videl support. Put Yamcha first. Let's just see how much less it is, actually. Oh, Krillin support as... Krillin here as well is not great. Defense, 456. That's kind of our... I mean, we could get a little bit more if Krillin wasn't here. 
but that's roughly what we are expecting. I like this rotation. I'm not going to use any items here. I want to see if we can tank these attacks or dodge them. Double digits. All right, so we're going to double digit normal all the way through, no matter what. And hopefully we can get more chances to super. I'd love to see five super attacks, but there's a one miss. Got the extra one, seven mil. I could definitely see, like, if you get the first turn, all the additionals, you can probably get, like, some pretty decent number. Like, we're chopping through the health of this freezer just from basically type advantage and just having 7 million attacks that... Which is good. Like, we did a lot. I cannot deny that. And we aren't going to take uh, dodge the soup, which is good. I want to see what, what what are we tanking here. Should be double digits, no? Yep, double digits, which is good. Good news for us. So they're not the worst thing ever, for sure. Not the worst thing uh, post-super. And you don't even have to actually put them in the first slot like I did. They're not bad. They're not bad. Yeah, I'm just getting the triple, but he has no guard, so he's probably going to get us killed here. Oh, Never mind. Never mind, baby! Alright, let's proc a active skill for Yamcha. Got one more phase after this, which is type disadvantage. You probably should do it. Yo, is that STR Yamcha? <laughs> Nice critical. Grab that. And then, as long as... Uh, I'm going to get the Dark Mode, aren't I? Damn, I shouldn't have grabbed those ints. Orbs. Whatever. Bam. Alright, hope for a good attack pattern. That will not do, but this will be the last turn anyway. to see how this goes here. Dodge. Dodge. 7.2 with a support. I mean, good crit. 7.5. And we're getting the additionals, maybe. That's the second one. Third one! All right! Now we just need the hidden potential. I think I don't know which what order they're going through. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Ah, no crit though. And then the last one, 8.5. So every single super attack, and they still they got to 8.5. Yeah, it's their worst enemy. But hey, uh, they did it. That was that was the best turn you could ask for, for sure. The crit on crit on crit violence. 27. Krill is definitely dead here. But that's going to wrap up the launch and Oolong EZA showcase. They're just a fun unit at the end of the day. I wasn't taking them too seriously to begin with, even on release. But... When next year rolls around and we see Goten and Icarus, I will be serious because they are a seriously good unit already. So I hope you guys did enjoy though. Uh, if you guys did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on. I'll see you guys in the next video as always. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace.